I want my grandma to come to the USA because it hurts seeing her struggle and it hurts seeing her, seeing her, you know, being, being in a lot of trouble. And I came here to tell people to help the community because some people are very sad that some So I'm on my way to meet with my mom right now. For those of you that have been keeping up on Instagram and Facebook and um, Twitter, um, there's a lot going on with my mom right now. I'm trying to bring her back to the United States because seven years ago, she uh, she tried to adjust her status in the United States, and as a result, she was taken out. For those of you who have been have been following me for the past couple of years, you know that um, my mom can't come back to the United States, and it's been very very difficult for not just my daughters, but not just myself and my daughters and my entire family to not be able to see our mother, you know? My brother, who is a U.S. Army veteran, um, is, uh, you know, he comes back home from war and he's still fighting this war to get my mom back. It's been seven years since my mom has been gone and her health has been deteriorating since she came, she came to Tijuana and um, she has been very um, sick, depressed, and, and there's a lot of things that have been happening in her life that have been... Um, she's afraid of uh, a lot of fear she's been living in fear for the past couple of years and um, this is why we're doing this you know me and my brother and everybody in my family and everybody in the community and she's not the only one doing this you know she's not the only one doing this she's uh, she's not alone there's gonna be a lot of other mothers there with with some serious cases family cases um, and this is why we're doing this you know it's it's all about family and trying to get everybody back together and um, yes Doing the right thing is always the right, you know, we, we try to do the right thing, but when the circumstances arise and they're desperate, this is as right as it gets. So we're here, I'm waiting for my mom. Uh, everybody here behind us is everyone who's trying to, trying to cross. How do you feel, mom? Uh, I have a hope that everything is gonna go well uh, with the help of God <laughs> and all the people. Please support us. Please support us. Support us, please. These are all families, these are mothers, um, and we're all gonna walk together right now. So, right, Ma? <laughs> A ver qué pasa. Ocho años, ocho años peleando por su casa, peleando por, el, por regresar aquí a casa. ¿Qué es lo que queremos? Separar a mis hijos. ¿Qué es lo que queremos? Vamos a casa, 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 vamos a casa. ¿Cuál es el mensaje, presidente Obama? Aquí comienza la reforma inmigratoria. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win.
¿Cómo van ustedes? ¿Ven bien, ma? Señora, ¿va bien? ¿Van todos bien? Ok. crossing um i'm not allowed to be in that line so i have to wait for months i'm just trying to figure out what to do because my mom is by herself right now so um i'm just in the bathroom right now waiting so i don't know what to do but we'll see um i have my fingers crossed i'm praying my mom comes back so we'll see what happens so we're just waiting here la reforma piensa empieza aquí Some of the families that are just waiting here in the back right now, uh, uh, a couple of other families, including my mom, uh, were, were put into a room to get registered their fingerprints and all that stuff. Um, at this point, there's nothing we can do. We're just waiting here. Um, they might be there for two hours. They might be there for 24 hours. And then who knows? So the only thing I'm waiting for is just my mom's call. Hey everyone, um, so I have a, a really important message to send everyone uh, here at uh, YouTube. Um, so um, for those of you who have been keeping up on Instagram and on my Facebook and um, on Twitter, um, there's a huge petition going on right now for my mom to return to the United States. Uh, it's a very, very long story and it's very complex, but what's going on is basically my mom is trying to come back to the United States because she was deported in 2007 and uh, they, she hasn't been able to come back and be part of this whole experience with us and just being part of the family and that's one of the reasons why my brother lives here with me now so I urge you to please I'm gonna add a, a I'm gonna add a link to the um, to um, to this video uh, that will give you an idea what's going on and if you can sign the petition it would it would tremendously help my mother for those of you who have been following me for the past three four years now you know that my mom has been through a lot and you know how, how much we've been through together so please I urge you to try to um, to try to sign the petition and um, I would really appreciate it because it's really important my mom right now is in downtown San Diego and um, we're just trying to make the best of it you know um, it's been seven years so I would really appreciate it thank you so much and um, I'll, I'll talk to you all soon okay um, if you want any updates about what's going on it's on um, go to my Instagram go to my Facebook and you'll see I'll, I'll put links and everything it's been it's been a, it's been a long battle you know for a very long time and it's been it's been very hard, so I would really appreciate for your support. I want my grandma to come to the U.S. because it hurts seeing her struggle, and it hurts seeing her seeing her, you know, being being in a lot of trouble. And I came here to tell people to help because some people are very sad that some Do you see there's a lot of pain? It's been like this for seven years. Every time I go visit my mother in Tijuana, it's always like this. It's always painful. I can't, I can't stop crying. I've been crying for seven years. And we're tired. We're tired of seeing my mom with tumors in her stomach. We're tired of seeing these, these calls of, of extortion. We're tired of, of, of not having her here. We're tired of seeing so much pain in our community. And this is why we're all here, because we're all part of this community, whether you're a citizen or not. You know? 
and it's hard to see my daughter cry because she knows what it's like to see my mother crying when we go visit her and she can't come back. I can't express in words. I can't imagine what all, the, all these other families are going through right now. All I know is that there, there needs to be something done. There's, a lot, there's thousands of people right now petitioning for my mother to come back on the internet. We need your help. We need people to raise awareness about this pain that everyone's going through in our community. We need to raise awareness. It's, it's, it's hurtful. It hurts our children. It hurts our, it hurts our families. What kind of community do we want to become in the future if we have to see our children go through this? It's, it's, we had enough. We need, we need to reform now. It just hurts when, some, when someone is taken away from you. It's like someone in your family that you'll never see again just taken away from you. Like, like grandma was taken, was taken away from us. And it hurts because she's important to us and she is just, she's so kind, and I wish I could see her, because usually it's like half a year I see her, or almost two months I don't really see her. It hurts, because I always see my mom and dad and my other family a lot, but I don't really see Grandma Esther a lot. I never, I don't really see her a lot. It hurts, because I can't. It just, please lawyers, help us. Once again, um, this isn't just our, our own battle. Um, my mom left behind a 16-year-old son um, who I had to bring in my brother because he was, he was uh, the, the situation where my mom got so bad in Tijuana that she, she became homeless. <laughs> and um, she was also, on, she's been unemployed since for like six, seven months. It got so bad with her health that they, she had a tumor in her stomach. Um, she also left behind a, a, a U.S. Army veteran son who has been fighting. He was he was recently he just came back from Afghanistan. He was in Afghanistan for three years to come back to the United States to another war um, where he has to fight for his mother. And here I am with my daughters trying to fight this war um, with 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 immigration to bring my mother back, who clearly deserves to be here for a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons, just like the mothers here. You know, it's, it's painful, it, it, and we're tired. We're tired of seeing so much pain. We're, we're tired of seeing so much hurt in our community, and I'm tired of seeing my daughters cry. Like people that never give up, people say, si se puede, and that's what I think. Si se puede, we can do this. We can win this war if only we could face our bad dreams and make them into good dreams. Me llevaron a un albergue y después ahí en la noche cuando llegué estuve llorando esos tres días cuando estaba sola y después en un domingo llegó mi hermana. Le pido de la manera más atenta que tenga compasión de todos nosotros para que para que ellas todo esto salga bien y puedan rendirse con todos estos niños que están sufriendo y que no merecen estar de esta manera. Al igual que mis compañeras, yo tuve la oportunidad de conocerlas a la mamá del joven aquí que está presente, la señora Esther, es una linda persona, no merece lo que le está pasando. Ella tiene sus hijos ciudadanos americanos, todos son ciudadanos y ella no ha podido estar aquí en este país con ellos. No se me hace justo. Y como esa señora, no sé cuántas más haya. Es por eso que ya basta. Aquí empieza la reforma migratoria, el presidente Obama. Es, es hora de actuar ya. El mensaje es para el presidente Obama. Sin papeles, sin miedo. Sin papeles, sin miedo. Sin papeles, sin miedo. ¿Cuál es el mensaje para el presidente Obama? Aquí comienza la reforma migratoria. ¿Cuál es el mensaje para el presidente Obama? Aquí comienza la reforma migratoria. Vamos a mandar un mensaje a las familias que se encuentran detenidas en el centro de detención y aquí en el edificio federal. No están solos, no están solos, no están solos, no están solos, no están solos. Everyone, so here's the update. Um, I It's been a couple of days since the march with my mom and there's been a lot of tears, there's been a lot of, uh, I'm exhausted right now. I have to actually go back to work. Um, 
And here's what's going on. My mom just called me from Arizona. She gave me a three minute call telling me that she, she's wearing the jumpsuit now and that she's, she's with other mothers, just 20 other mothers that are still in, her, in there with her. And, um, you know, she's really strong. She's a very strong woman. She told me to tell you all, everyone on YouTube and everyone on Facebook and everyone on Instagram that has been following me and following the whole situation to please raise awareness and just continue to raise awareness about the situation. Um, and it's it's really hard. And it's like I said earlier, it's very complex. And um, all I can tell you is that it's been seven years since my mom was deported and it's been seven years without her. And my me, my daughters and my, my brother and everyone... It's it's been really it's been really hard on her. It's been really hard on us. And all I ask is is for you all to 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 continue to sign the petition, to continue to raise awareness. If you're from San Diego, ask your local politicians to get involved. Um, why is this important? Because I believe that families are sacred, um, whether you're separated or not. But I also believe that the government should never have anything to do with separating families. That's if it has to do with this legal status or illegal status. It doesn't matter. The government should never get involved with intervening in families. And this is what's going on right now. My mom has been separated from us for seven years. All of us are U.S. citizens. And, you know, we've been singing and, and doing great things on the Internet for, for, for very long. And, you know, we've been very successful and it's been great. But deep inside... What I don't share is that this is the huge, the biggest pain inside me is not having my mother. And, you know, you followed us on YouTube. You've seen my mother. You've seen some of the vlogs and us being in Tijuana and having a good time and enjoying ourselves. But it's hard. It's hard. And so she finally took the chance to try. You know, the last time she tried to do the right thing, she wasn't told. She was told to not come back. And now we're here again, you know. And some people are saying it's wrong. And some people are saying, well, this is there's a right way to do it well you know sometimes it's the circumstances you know it's it's it's, it's what, whatever's right enough at the time you know this is what's right for her right now this is what's right for us this is what's right for my family and and it's it's hard you know uh i'm actually here sitting down i'm i'm, I'm gonna start doing an interview with some of the from some of the people from the from the newscast you can see that they're over there you know and we're trying to raise awareness you know they're from uh, they're from televisa um and you know just I haven't slept. I'm I'm tired and I don't know where to, I don't know what's going on. I'm just I'm 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 hoping my mom is okay and um you know thank you all for for just paying attention to all this and thank you all for for being there you know but this is the situation you know this is what's going on and um uh, it hurts it hurts to be separated from my mother and so this is what's going on so far. Uh, and keep up with it. I will keep you all updated. Go to my Instagram. Go to my Facebook. Sign the petition if you can. Raise awareness. This is how you can get involved. If you want to get involved, this is how you can get involved. Okay. And I apologize. I know that this is usually what we don't do on our channel, but this is extremely important to our family. And this is part of my life. This is part of being a reality changer. This is part of what we do. You know. There's also a lot of pain involved, and um, I urge you to raise awareness. I urge you to get involved and to to do what you can and if you have any questions put them on the on the on the comments below and like i said just keep up with everything that's going on alexa was really brave that uh last night and she did a really good job and and i was very proud of her and she's in pain too we're all in pain so um i love you all so much and i'll keep up with you okay we'll talk to you soon